In this training, we're going to cover the, uh, the Athena Sheet Metal Tool. First, go to Athena, uh, go down to Sheet. Uh, very first tool on the uh, toolbar we'll cover is Sheet Metal Section. If you click the Sheet Metal Section, it'll bring up the Sheet Metal Dialog Box. Uh, to explain the Dialog Box a little bit further, this will give you a preview of your sheet. Um, you'll have the Properties tab where you can actually uh, work on a piece of sheet metal or a composite panel. Here you will enter whatever the thick shick, the thickness is, and we'll put in an eighth inch. Your inner bending radius, your distance of a crimped edge, or if you want to fold it over. Um, and the inner bending radius, you don't normally have to enter that. That'll come off of, if you go down to fold, and you click this button here, that'll take you into the bend tables. And if you click it down for English, um, or whatever, whatever language, whatever bend uh, tables you select, that's where it normally will put the uh, it'll pull the bend tables from distance of crimped edge uh, if you go into the termination you can actually pick a crimped edge um, and you can put in a length for whatever you want for a crimped edge uh, you can have it uh, change direction you can change different types of crimped edge uh, this crimped edge you would actually put in the length and the width and you could have one on the end too you could have a termination if, it, if you didn't want to show the whole sheet. And that's uh, the crimped edge part. You can actually add a coating, uh, distance on the coating line. That is how far away the coating line is from the metal. So if uh, it was pretty close, you just put that click area. That'll add your coating. Uh, if you click area again, it'll add one on the other side. And if you click faces, it'll add on both ends. So just to go through it one more time. I'll unselect uh, distance of coating line. We'll uncheck the areas and the faces. Um, the properties, once again, you have the sheet metal tab, the composite panel. This is where you'll end in your dimensions of the sheet. Material, um, if you click that, that'll take you into the material selection dialog box, which comes from the Athena options dialog box. Here we've got aluminum uh, selected, but you can do steel. Uh, if you do select steel, you can enter in a, a thicker piece. Uh, we use these for wind load anchors, dead load anchors, just about everything you'd want to uh, to bend. Okay, to take you over here to the form, this is where you can actually show an outline of your sheet metal. You can have it lined, or you can have it hatched. Um, and you can, once again, if you go over here, you can actually assign it to a layer. Um, and this, if you put it on specific, you can actually pull a, a layer from uh, your dialog, from your regular layer settings. If you do material, it's going to pick up the material that's in your uh, Athena material options dialog box. And the same thing with system. Okay. Uh, anytime you make a change, make sure you save settings or it won't, it won't save it. And then here, once again, you can define how you want to label this. Okay. You can have it say sheet metal item, aluminum, you can have a dimension, and down here is where you can change your uh, your dimensions. Uh, if you just wanted it to be uh, aluminum, eighth inch, uh, you would select that. Um, over here in this box, you can actually add different labels. Uh, if you right click in this box, it'll bring up a new uh, uh, set of commands where you can actually click new, and you can type in buy others, and you can have this display. Um, you'll see there's an additional text one, additional text two, and that lines up with additional text one and additional text two over here. So if I wanted this to display behind, I would hit additional text two to, to say that I want it to be behind the text. Then I would click number two and it would be by others. Okay. And I can click it off and I can save this list. And if I save the list, when I come back in, they'll always be there for me to pick. And I'll save the settings click OK and now my labeling is automatic. Down here you got your construction routine. Uh, if you select normal uh, you can freehand just draw by picking points anything. If you click fit uh, it'll actually fit something to a knee wall or whatever by clicking the points of a knee wall and it'll let you uh, choose which side you want the fold to be on. And then object selection is if you had a polyline drawn you can select that polyline. It'll turn that polyline into that sheet metal. Okay. Uh, I will work both fit in here. And if I click OK, it'll take me back into the drawing. And here, 
Uh, you'll see it's asking me to uh, specify a starting point of the sheet metal section. I'll click here for starting point. It'll ask for the next point. I'll click that. Now you'll see there'll be a little line attached and it's asking me to pick, specify the side for wall thickness and it'll give me some options. I can pick central um, and if I pick central it'll actually divide um, the sheet metal uh, half and half on one side and the other. So here I want my, my sheet metal to be, the thickness to be on this side, so I'll pick that and you'll notice it placed it right on top of the knee wall. So if I wanted it to uh, <coughs> come down here now, I would just select the next point, specify a side for wall thickness, and then I'll select the next point, specify a side for wall thickness, hit enter, and it entered my, uh, my sheet in. Now if I double click this, it'll take me back into the dialog box and I can actually go in and save that. Now if I had a coating, if I wanted to apply a coating to this, I can apply a coating. Uh, if I want it to be a 30 seconds away, I'd apply a 30 seconds to whatever area I wanted and I now have a coating on the outside of my thing. If I wanted to make a termination on one end or the other end, I would just select a termination and I could change the direction of my termination to be over here and then I can adjust my length of the termination for whatever I want. When I click OK, it'll update on your on your piece and you'll see I've got the uh, um, the coating and I've got the termination. Okay, And these are all Object ARX. Uh, they're completely stretchable uh, with the regular AutoCAD stretch or by grips. Um, so you can edit these once they're in the drawing. Now with our labeling tool, it is now automatic labeling. So if we go back into Athena, we can access that by going to the dimension tools, parts labeling, or you can access that off the dimension toolbar, the Athena dimension toolbar, parts labeling, and you just click, pull out a label, and now you have your label. Okay. If you wanted to edit your label to say one thing or another, you double click it, and now you can go in and you can actually apply a symbol or a frame. <clears throat> you can change the leader to whatever leader you want. You can change the text format, the symbol color, um, and you can change the leader. Okay. If I wanted to change the labeling, I would click the label button and I can go in now and I can say whatever thickness I want. And if I save that setting, it'll always come in that way. Okay. So now I'm showing an eighth inch. Now the good thing is these labels automatically update. So if I was to change this to steel, it would then show steel here. Okay, now we'll go back into the uh, dialog box. And once again, just to go back through it, this is where you would apply a coding. This is where you'd apply a termination. And then on the manager is where you could actually save this as, uh, we'll call this subsill. We can save this into a library um, <coughs> to a name folder or a local folder I could save out on the uh, the server. Um, and now you'll notice it's in my library. Now I can then take this and move this out and I can make a library for my company. I can label this as sheet metal, subsill, <clears throat> and whatever system it would be. Um, if it was a system, we'll just type anything. Here the designation is where whoever puts this in you'd want his initials um, so that you would know who would put that in. Click OK and now you could actually save this out to any folder on your server uh, as an OLB object which is an AutoCAD OLB object uh, to recall it later on. Okay, And you could you could actually save these into a, into a catalog <coughs> so that uh, when you do go to access these um, you can automatically have your brake metal shapes load in a catalog. Okay, And once again, here you could actually specify a folder the same way. Uh, it's just another way to get to it. All right. Now, if you always wanted this to start up with this type of sheet metal, you could set that as a default, and it would always come in as that type of sheet metal there, which is not very useful for sheet metal. Now, at this point, um, we can now, if we wanted to change this to an, a composite panel, uh, we would just click Composite Panel, select whatever composite panel we, we wanted, um, change whatever our sheet thickness is, 
and our bending radius if we had a different bending radius. And we could actually make this a Luca Bond, a Luca Core, a uh, Think or a Renabon panel. Um, so it's it's very easy to uh, to work with the composite panels with this also. Okay. And that pretty much concludes the sheet metal section. One other thing that I wanted to show you with this, with this tool, is if you had to go into a flat panel layout real quick, uh, if you went to sheet, sheet development of a cross section, if you click that, it'll ask you to select a sheet cross section. Okay, once I select that, it'll say specify the elevation side or the outside of it. Uh, so I'll click anywhere up in here and specify the width of the sheet. Now the width of the sheet is how wide of a sheet you're actually going to bend this out of. So if I was going to use a 10 foot sheet on this, I'd under 10 foot and attached to my cursor is the actual flat panel layout. <laughs> and once I click this in, <clears throat> now I can display the elevation side as a coded side and I'll put uh, yes because that was coded. Um, and now it's actually going to give me a flat panel layout with my sheet It'll give me uh, <clears throat> my sheet, what my sheet's made out of, my development. Uh, dotted line will be fold downwards. Solid line will be fold upward. And coded side equal to elevation side. It'll completely dimension it. Now the dimensions it uses and the text it uses is pulled right from your dimension styles and your text styles that you have set in AutoCAD now. Okay, and at that point you will have a flat panel layout of this sheet. Now, one other thing to cover is... The good thing about these, <clears throat> I will actually copy this over here. The one good thing about these, if you want to automatically dimension these these sheets, uh, once again, if you go to Athena Dimensions, Dimension Object, and on the toolbar, if you go Athena Dimension Object, it's automatic dimensioning too. Okay, so it's a very nice little dimensioning tool, and that pretty much concludes the sheet metal. Uh, layout tool and the next uh, session will be how to go take this into the dialog box and, and use it in the dialog box.